Okay, I'm going to show you how to change the roller on an Odyssey. This is the passenger side door roller. Uh, as you can see, this is what the piece is. It goes outside on the door on the bottom part. Um, our door was skipping pretty bad and had some other issues. And so this is one of the parts I had to replace um, to fix that. So uh, I'm just going to show you how to do that because I couldn't really find anything that really showed me how to do it. So I'm trying to quickly do that. First what you want to do is you want to open your door about halfway and then turn it off. And you'll see behind it there's a screw, a bolt that goes right here that you'll have to unbolt because there is a cover over the track. And so you're going to have to get the door about halfway to do that. So first you take off that. Then next, you're going to have to open up these two little covers on the back light. There's two screws there. You're going to get both of those out. And then the next step is going to be to remove these two screws right here. They're on the back of this assembly piece. So I'm going to do that next. And then I'll show you what else to do after that. Okay, I'm doing this all with my phone, so I'm going to kind of stop and do it. Um, remove those two screws right there. Um, now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to slide this little piece back just a little bit. If you can tell, that's what it did, and it's going to pop out. And then you've got to lift it up and slide it out like so. And as you can see... There's little hooks where it slides through and just locks in on these little pieces. So I'll set this aside. So now you've gotten that out. This is the piece you're going to look at replacing right here. This is what's causing the bumping and everything. And there's two rollers up here um, that usually come apart. Mine are still okay, but I bought replaced the other one, so I'm figuring I might as well replace this one as well. So next, um, you're going to have to pull out some interior open, so I'll show you that. Okay, next you're going to go inside the van, and you're going to do a couple things. I'm just going to show you a little bit here, and then complete it, and show you some more. Um, you're going to take off this little piece here, off this cover. First, got to lay down the seat, and there's a screw under it you need to take off. Um, you're going to have to remove this whole panel. Um, then you need to pull off the cover for the speaker there's a little hole on it where is it well there's a little divot kind of thing then you get your screwdriver and pop it out there's usually about two screws maybe you usually have four take those screws out take off the speaker easy connection there um, then you're going to need to remove a latch thing here Phillips head latch thing here pull this up it should pop up mine pops up um, remove that piece you're also going to want to remove the front piece up here which just pops up just to give you a little more access as you pull this back so you're not confined by anything um, and then next you're going to uh, remove this piece altogether because that's where the latch or the uh, tightener is for this door it's back in there and you need to get to that so um, next we'll look at that so okay another quick piece here I um, forgot to tell you about one screw there's one more screw right here you got to remove um, I went ahead and removed the bottom bracket for the seat belt. You don't necessarily have to do that. Ours was actually stuck. We need to get it fixed so it wouldn't extend. But if it'll extend far enough, you can just pull this back and it should pop back. So it'll just pop out. And um, this is the piece you're looking for right there. That's what has the cable on it for the, uh, the door. Yours. This should be around all of it. These doors have actually been replaced and so this was cut out probably easier to cut it than pull it off and then I'll put that back I'm gonna have to reassemble that we get done also I mean this filter looks pretty dirty so maybe I'll clean that too but this gives you access to all this on the passenger side so that's what you're looking for um, once you get this and this should be able this just held on by these little connectors right here you gotta be careful not to break them we should be able to pop those out so next we'll look at the door Okay, next we're going to move to the outside of the car. Um, you're going to want something to brace it up. I just used the jack from the car, um, put a couple of towels around it. 
and raise it up because you're going to have to unlatch the door and it needs to be resting on something. I did the other door and that worked fine. The other thing you're going to want to do is tape off the edge of uh, the cable because you're going to loosen it up some and you need to know that point back to pull the tension back. So first what you're going to want to do after you have those things set up and the inside open is uh, take off these two bolts right here on this piece. It's going to release the door from the piece. You're going to slide it out, let it rest on your jack or whatever you've got set up. And um, I'm going to do that and then show you what's next. Okay, it's just a 13 millimeter bolt. Um, I'm going to tell you guys that. Um, you can see here I've removed the piece. It's resting on the jack. And so it's just right here. This is what you're going to get rid of in place. So what you might want to do is put some tape down here. Just as it lays as you release this tension. It's not scratching the van. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so here's what you got after you release the tension. It's just hanging down um, on the cables. Um, it was in here. What I did, pull this back. Pull this piece out, and you go against the arrows, the opposite direction of the arrows to loosen it about a quarter turn or so, and you should get it. So now I'm just going to assemble it. Okay, the new piece is on. See, right here. I tried to tighten mine, it didn't really work. What I end up having to do is turn on the door open and close it after I try to tighten it a couple times and then it will kind of tighten itself and if it stops then you can just tighten it to this. So I wouldn't close this, test the door first. 